Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Premiere Pro. Today, we're going to tackle a really useful effect that often gets overlooked, and it's the equalize command. Now, I'm not talking audio, I'm actually talking equalizing video levels, but the concept is very similar if you're familiar to working with audio. What we're going to do here is try to bring up the lows to a certain base level and take the highs and pull them down. So if you've got a clip that's a little washed out or kind of dark, this effect works really well. Let's see it in action on a couple of clips here. I've got a timeline here, and as I drag through, I've got three shots from a project we did recently with a musician called Luke Brindley. And I want to show you how the equalize effect works. Let's just lasso those three shots, and we'll go into the effects browser here and type equalize. And I'm just going to drag that onto all three clips. Now, by default, it's going to be way too strong. When you apply Equalize, it's going to be pretty brutal, and it's going to blow things out. But we can refine this, and it does a good job. It just takes a little tweaks. Here we go. Let's start with the first clip here. We've got it selected. We'll go to Effect Controls, and twirl down Equalize. You've got a choice of using three different methods when you equalize. You can use RGB to balance out the color channels. You can use brightness to just go after the overall exposure of the scene, or a Photoshop style that kind of balances the two methods together. Here's how it works. Let's start with RGB here to begin with. And once I've done that, I can then adjust how much we equalize. Now, 100% is going to be way too much. But if I back that off there into about the 25% range, you see it looks pretty good. Let's toggle that off and on, and you see what we've done there is nicely pop the brights and the darks, getting a richer color. Let's go on to the next shot here, and this is a really low light shot. Now, if I equalize using Photoshop style, it's going to go after the colors a little bit too much. So I'm going to go down to just brightness and back that off and probably go more in the 10 or 15% range. There we go, that's 10. Let's toggle that off and on. And you see it really did a nice job there, particularly on these little black poles, giving us some good separation. With that turned off, the shadows really just fall off, and we're losing a lot of details in some of the equipment and the instruments on stage. But by turning that on, you see we get better separation. Now, you could bring that back up, but if you go too high on a really dark scene, it's going to overdo it. So, Typically, if I'm doing brightness, it's going to be anywhere from 5 to 20%, depending upon the scene I'm working with. Let's go into that last shot here, and we'll stick with the Photoshop style here, and it's going to go after both the color values and the brightness values. Let's go ahead and back that off. And notice, even at 50%, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go a little lower, though, and we'll take it around 30 now, let's look at the before. Notice how all sorts of details were lost. But when I turn Equalize back on there, that's really done a nice job. Now, this particular scene is supposed to feel a little dark and moody, so I'd back it off a bit more. But I'm sure you can imagine plenty of times when your lighting levels were poor and just how effective the Equalize command can be. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Video Adrenaline brought to you by Creative Cow. Be sure to head on over to creativecow.net where you can check out our forums as well as great tutorials to help you learn more about Premiere Pro and, in fact, the entire Adobe Creative Suite. Thanks again for joining us. My name's Rich Harrington.